Hey there, if you're in the beginning stages of your coding journey, I usually recommend that you start off by building console applications. And console applications are just applications that run inside a console and they have no user interface. And I usually recommend this because console applications are the most basic applications that you can build when you're starting off. And you don't really have to worry about a user interface or a GUI. Console applications are really good because they focus more on the code itself. And there you can get better at your fundamentals in terms of coding and you understand the basics of your programming language. The last reason why I recommend console applications is because that's how I started off. I started off as a middle school kid coding console applications in a TI-83. Then when I went to university and they taught us C, all of our programs and assignments were just console applications. And then when I started mentoring and coaching beginner programmers, all of the assignments we give them were console applications. So in this video, I'm going to go over the skeleton of a console application and give you the basic structure for console applications. So let's get started. All right, I was able to identify five basic components of a console application. And the first one is a main loop. And then the second one is user input. And then the third one is data processing. And then the fourth one is going to be your results from the data processing. And then the fifth one is breakout conditions. So if you can think about it, it's just a main loop that's running in your program. And then it's asking, it's waiting for user input. And then that's component number two. And then the user input is processing the data inside that main while loop. And then it processes the data and then it's spitting out that information. And then there's a time when the program ends, right? And that's your breakout condition. And so I'll give, I'll give you an example so you have more, a, a more concrete understanding of what I'm talking about. By the way, if you're in the early stages of your programming journey, I've got a special gift for you. It's called my 30 day beginner coding challenge. And it's a guide that will take you from no coding experience to building your first four projects. And the best part is it's free. It's a free gift to you. In this coding challenge, I guide you in 30 days to build four programming projects and I give you some tutorials that are in C. But of course, these projects are really generic and really beginner friendly. And so you can actually code them in different programming languages. You can still benefit from this guide because you can just take the principles that are in my challenge and then apply them to your programming language. You can find the challenge in the link in the description. And if you download it and pay attention to what it says, you'll definitely learn some fundamental programming concepts that will give you a good foundation to your software development journey. So in this example, I'm going to be going over a temperature converter. And basically what this does is it just converts temperature between Fahrenheit and Celsius. And so let's start, let's create our first file. Let's call it tempconvert.c. Let's add in our standard library. Then the main function. This is different than the main loop. Okay. So just keep that in mind. All right, that's a basic hello, hello world program. And then there's our output. Hello world. Okay, but let's make, let's make it look prettier. All right, that looks good. So this is the header of our console application. You don't need to have a header, but it's not just nice to have it there. So whoever is running your program knows what's going on. And now we add in the first component and that is a main loop. So we have to put in a main while loop here. Okay, while one. So this is just gonna run infinitely. So see, we're inside the main loop. That means the program is running. And this is the beginning of your console application. You want the console application to continue running until it has some sort of breakout condition. In order to stop the program, we just have to do command C or control C. Okay, I did control C. If you do control C, then you'll see this. You'll see the carrot and C. And that's how you exit your program if it's stuck inside a main loop. And right now it's not, this is not good. <laughs> okay, second, we have to implement a way for the user to input some sort of data. So we need to create a variable and we can do int fair, farin, Fahrenheit input and we'll set it equal to zero. We'll initialize it to zero. And then we'll do scanf percent %d, then Fahrenheit input. And then we have to use an ampersand. We want to specify that whatever the user inputs here is gonna be stored in this variable. We wanna print 
what the user inputted just to make sure we're inputting the user input correctly. Okay, let's run that. Okay, now it, it stops because it stops to wait for the user input. So you can put in a number, say like 78 degrees. And then it says you entered 78 and then it repeats. It, the main loop repeats. Okay, now we have 78, but we want to convert it to Fahrenheit. So how do we convert 78 to Fahrenheit? So the formula is Fahrenheit minus 32 times five divided by nine. And then that gives you the Celsius. Okay, I see that there's a division here. So that means we should use a double instead of an int because it's not gonna be an int. The result may not be an int. So let's use double. And if we're gonna use double, we have to use LG instead of percent D. Okay, so now let's practice nine point, oh, let's do 78.9. Okay, it works. And I did control C to get out because we don't have an exit condition right now. Okay, so we, now we have the main loop, we have the user input, and now we need to do the processing. So let's create another double for the result. And we're gonna initialize it to zero as well. And then let's put the processing here. So Celsius result is equal to this formula here. Okay, so this is the processing. We use Fahrenheit input. We just plug it in here, the F here, subtract 32, and then we multiply it by five divided by nine. And the reason why I put 0, 0.0 there is so that we are telling the compiler that this is a double. Because if, if we don't do that, and we do that, the compiler will think it's an int. Do you see that there? And if you do a division with ints, the answer is never gonna be a decimal. The answer is gonna be an int. So we wanna make sure that these are doubles so that the answer will stay a double and the Celsius result is supposed to be a double. So each of these numbers should be doubles. Yeah, I should make that a double as well to make sure that we're real, entirely accurate. So we wanna make all of our numbers here doubles so that the result will stay double. Okay, so let's try 7.8. Oh, sorry, let's try 78.9. And the result is 25 degrees Celsius. Now, is that correct? According to Google, that's correct. <laughs> okay, but the problem is, is I have, I forgot to put an end of line character here. Okay, that's better. So you type in 78.9, it tells you that you entered 78.9, and then the result is 26.0556, and then it repeats. All right, now we have the main loop, we have the user input, we have the processing, then we have the result, and now we need a way to break out of our while loop so we can end the program instead of just using control C all the time. So what I think we should do is after the user converts their number, we should ask the user if they want to convert another number. So let's ask the user to convert another number, and then we'll specify yes or no. So let's just wait for a char from the user and that's gonna be either Y or N. And then we'll read it in from the user. Oh, we have to create a variable. Let's initialize it to Y because Y is the input that causes us to continue in the while loop. So here, instead of using one, we're just gonna do, the condition is just gonna be continue input is equal to Y. And then we'll just type continue input here. And then, okay, so here we ask the user if they want to convert another number and they can say yes or no. Then we scan the user input into this continue input character. And then the while loop will check the continue input. If it's a yes, then we continue. If it's a no, then we exit. 
Okay, let's put in 78.9. And then it asks, do you want to convert another number? We say yes. And then it says inside the main loops. And so it restarts. And then we do 78.8 and converts another number. Now, is that correct? Okay, it's, it's 26. Good. And then let's say no. And then it exits. All right, so there you have it, the skeleton of a basic console application. The first one is the main loop. Second is the user input. The third is the processing. And then the fourth is the result. And then the fifth one is the breakout condition so that we exit our program gracefully. I'm just gonna clean up the prompts and then we don't need to tell the user what they entered. That was only for debugging purposes. So we'll comment that out. Okay, that's better. <laughs> now you can see it's Fahrenheit to Celsius. So it's really clear. There you go. And then maybe what we can do is we can just let's make this let's move this down a line and then try that. There you go. So I think this is really this looks really clean to me at least. And I think we're done with this console application. Okay, so let's recap. So this is our main function. This is different than the main loop. It's a function. It's the first function that your program calls. These are the variables. This is the header. And then here's the main loop where it starts. Then the user input, where we get the user input through each iteration of the main loop. Then we do the processing of the user input. Then we get the result displayed back to the user. And then we have a way to break out of the while loop gracefully. And then we have a bottom header. All right, so that's the basic format of a console application. And you're gonna see this sort of format, not maybe exactly like this, but the idea is gonna be like this. All right, like I mentioned earlier, if you're just starting off in your programming journey and you don't know where to start, you can download my 30 day beginner coding challenge. And it's a 30 day guide where I teach you how to build those four beginner programming projects. It's really beginner friendly and I go step by step on how to build each one and go through the tutorials that you need to build each one. So download that in the link in the description. And I really hope this helps you out as you build your console applications. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you there. And thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one. Peace.